All right, welcome to my August 12th live item shop review video. We should have Grogu, we should have Moff Gideon, and we should have the IG-11 droid in the shop tonight. As you can see, I just got gifted Grogu by my friend Gabe. That is incredible. Thank you so much, Gabe. I hope you're doing amazing. So I did see some people say that they couldn't see these items in the shop, so just reset your game. That's what I had to do. They weren't there the first time that I reset my game, and as you can see, they must be out right now. So let's go take a look again. Thanks very much, Gabe. That is amazing. Oh, hold on. We got a gift from my good friend Devnavat as well. Oh my goodness, it's the rest of the bundle. Moff Gideon, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Dev. Let's take a look at everything real quick. He's got the Lego style right there. I guess we'll look in the item shop as well. I just wanted to see real quick. A jet pack. Oh, they didn't do the dark saber, but they did the force lance. That's pretty sweet. I love that purple. Looks like he's got an emote, the force lance flourish. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And then this wrap looks nice as well. Gideon's wrath. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, Dev and Gabe. You guys are amazing. So let's take a peek at the shop and see how much these actually are. X-Men bundle, of course, still here. It'll probably be here for a while. Actually, let's take a look. Till the 20th. Yeah, so you got eight more days of this. I did a full gameplay and review on everything there. If you want to check it out. All the Dragon Ball items are all the Dragon Ball items are still here. They're gonna leave on the 16th. How about the new androids? They're gonna leave on the 16th as well. So four more days for all the Dragon Ball stuff. I did a gameplay and review on trunks as well as these androids. Check that out if you're on the fence. Plus all the other accessories. I mean, I did reviews on all of these items just back when they first came out. That includes Gohan and Piccolo, all the accessories, Frieza and Cell. I covered all those as well. Nike Goddess, surprisingly, is still here as well. Plus the Airphoria bundles, Wave 1 and Volume 2. Billie Eilish is still here as well. Well, here's the Boba Fett bundle. Looks like some Star Wars skins returned. Obviously, Boba Fett, an iconic character. He's got a built-in emote called the Targeting Computer Online. And his starship is also in the bundle. Solid all around. Ooh, my favorite Fennec Shan. She's one of my favorite skins of Star Wars. And then Chrysanthemum also is in the bundle with her. Fennec's ship, as well as This Is The Way emote. That's a solid bundle. The then you've got the Mad About Me bundle. This is Star Wars plus the Cantina Band song. You can play that in Fortnite Festival. The Beskar bundle's back. I did a full gameplay and review on that when it first came out. Plus two of the best accessories for cars in the game. The Darth Maul wheels plus the red lightsaber boost. Phenomenal. Okay, so here we go. This is the new section. So IG-11 is the bounty hunting droid that turns into the protector of Grogu. So there's Grogu right there. So now this does say reactive, I think. Yes. So I'm curious what Grogu does. We're going to have to find out. I will do a full gameplay and test that out. And then we've got the droid destructor for a pickaxe. That's pretty solid. So this bundle is 2,100, and normally you can't buy backblings like this sold separately, but in this case, you can. So next up is the Moth Gideon bundle. This one's 2,500, and again, I covered this when I got the gift at the start. I love that cape. I'm not a big fan of capes, but that one looks amazing. You can also take the helmet off. Look who it is. It's none other than Gus from Breaking Bad. That's awesome. So you could also have his jetpack if you don't like the cape. Actually, I think the cape is permanent. So I take that back. You can put the jetpack over the cape. And then we saw the force lance. That looks incredible. Looks like it's got a nice splash. Probably the same for the contrail. We saw the force lance flourish. I'll have to try this without having this equipped and see if it turns into a hologram or not. And then the Gideon's wrath is reactive as well. Ooh, nice purple. Purple, red, and black. That's awesome. So here's everything sold separately. So first of all, Grogu, like I said, is sold separate. Only 600. I love that they included this separately. That is amazing. You do not have to buy a bundle to get it. IG-11 sold separately is 1,500. Moff Gideon is 1,500 as well. Looks like they did bundle up his Lance plus the emote for 1,200. I think you're better off just buying the entire bundle up here. And Gideon's Wrath is 500. The pickaxe for the droid is 800. So pretty solid all around. I love that they added more Mandalorian stuff. Amazing. And if you missed out on Grogu from Chapter 2, you can finally get him. And dare I say, this is better than the Battle Pass backplane. Then we got the Reload Squad still here. These came back yesterday. Let's see. Cybertruck still here. I'm going to go through these Rapid Fire. Alan Walker still here. Insidio. Since I do want to get to the gameplay and review on those new Star Wars skins, I'm just going to go ahead and fly through these. So Vector is back. 
plus the Wild Tangent and the Ion Glider. That's usually pretty rare. And the Ion Glider, that's pretty rare, I think. Hex Form as well as Slow Clap. Guaco, Volley Girl. We got Adeline and Riley with Wild X. Full Tilt, the fastest traversal emote in the game right here. Holy cow. Toxic Tagger is back, plus the Heist skin. And we got the Ouroboros. That was the same as yesterday. This entire section right here is the same, plus Vegeta's Locker, the Level Up Quest Pack, and then all the gear and the music pack. So all this should be the same. Yeah, we got Lego stuff. So there you go. A pretty phenomenal item shop. Some Mandalorian-themed Star Wars stuff returning. And then the brand new Moff Gideon, the brand new IG-11, and more importantly, the new Grogu backplane. Amazing. So there you go. Stay tuned for a full gameplay and review on all of that. It might come out tomorrow. I'll have to see if I can get it done tonight. But there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is Tabor Time.